Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today, I have I bought something. Uh, I don't think it's awesome, but it's pretty cool. It's defective, so maybe I just wasted a lot of money, but who knows? I might have bought something really cool. Let's go see what I bought and we can decide along the way if this is cool or if I just got cheated the hell out of me. So, well, let's go see. Okay, here is the box. And this was delivered to me from Germany because I've been I bought this on the German version of eBay, eBay.de, and I paid 101 euros for this, um, plus 17 euros in shipping, so a total of 118 euros. Ooh. And yeah, I get this a lot, uh, especially American people ask how much is a euro. Well, it's more than a dollar, so. It's about 13% more than a dollar. And, and in here, there is a graphics card. But there is no ports on this graphics card because this is a NVIDIA grid card. These are hell expensive. This one has an error. Waffe. Luftwaffe. Um, it said on the eBay auction that it had a fan error. Uh, which is pretty odd because I haven't been able to see any fans in here So it might have been an overheating problem. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to fix this But I bought it anyway, so I bought one of those And it's even broken so um, yeah, this is the Nvidia grid k1 There is also a k2 which is considerably more expensive even I want to try and put this in a server. These are meant to go in servers. That's why there is no connections whatsoever. This is just for the GPU processing power. And I want to try it out in a server like this. This is the IBM X3650 Model 3. And this is an awesome server. I'm often asked what I would recommend. And well, it depends. If you have a lot of money, well, you would go with one of the later versions of this. If you are new to servers and you just want a good beginner server, I would recommend the Model 1 because that's really cheap. You can get that on eBay for, or Amazon for next to nothing. But if you're like a small business and you want your first server, this would actually be a very good choice because fairly cheap and it's fairly good and it does not use that much power. But I want to mount a graphics card in here and that's not going to be no easy task. So. Yeah, that comes with a lot of problems. I've done this before. I have done other videos where I mount a graphics card in a server. And the biggest challenge of this server is that these riser cards, they only come with an X8 down here. And the graphics card is an X16. So you can actually cut off this over to only being an x8 and you can plug it in there and it would work it will not have its full length of the graphics card and it would probably not be able to do full performance uh, i've done this down to an x1 at some point and well it didn't hurt that much but but i've never cut these off instead i've gone in and modified the socket here so that it will just be reaching out of there and I'm gonna be doing that again today because I need I need this to fit in there so let's get rid of this this is a fiber optic HBA card uh, 4 gigabits get rid of that and we're gonna take this one out and we're gonna use a multi-tool and make a cut in this one because the graphics card goes in the top one like that and it will be sticking out. I'll get my tools. This is the riser card and it has a PCB here. And to make this easier, I'm gonna remove the PCB from the metal thing. Here we are. 
and I'm just gonna remove. I've clamped the little PCB to the to the table here for it not to move for them back. And I found the the tool of choice for modifying your servers is of course the Ryobi multi tool. And I have mounted a wooden slash metal tool here that will go forth and back. And I will try very carefully to to remove the end of this slot. Well, maybe this will work for me. Maybe I'll have to get another one. But, well, that's the plan so far. These boards are not very expensive. So if I do break it, uh, I can get a new one. The tool can actually go down into the slot here. So it's... I hope it's not gonna break anything. But, well, let's see how this goes. Well, a little trick, boys. If she won't stay still, um, gaffer. Hmm. Well, this does not seem that bad. So um, I'll see if I can get the graphics card in here. Or if I need to uh, cut a little extra, I think I have a scalpel somewhere. Yeah, it goes in there now. It goes very tight. Yeah, it's it's not pretty. But I just wanted to have a connection, and I do believe that it should have that. Cool. So, last Friday I posted a video with the IP power switch. And in the comments someone asked, why didn't you make a teardown of it? Why didn't you open it up? And I thought, well, that's a stupid... No, it was not. I would actually have liked that. So today I'm, I have removed the screws over here so we can actually have a look inside of this. So that's not very exciting, huh? Hmm. I wonder if I should remove the heat sinks and check if the thermal paste is okay, I think. I think we should do that just for the, it is broken. So that might be one of the problems. Let's try remove one of them first. Let's try this one. So, oh, and it comes out all by itself. And there is the GPU. And it looks like it's the original cooling paste that is on here and otherwise there is just a little bit on the bottom here cool I'll give it a drop of some cooling paste I have some here someone told me this wasn't very good I have no idea it's made in China everything from China is awesome right I'll give this a drop a tiny drop And we'll mount this back on. Okay, I've decided to take it all apart because, well, I want to make sure that it's okay. So I'm just going to remove all the cooling fans, and I'm going to be removing all the the the, the PCB is attached with these small black screws. I'm gonna... All the screws has been removed, so and I can feel that the board is loose. Uh, loose-ish. Oh, get out of there! 
and there is a lot of thermal things here that apparently hmm, some of them is not doing very well to transfer some of the heat to this board here so it might be one of those that has moved out of place so i'll try and track down and see that's kind of a weird concept this and here is the board the four gpus and there is some ram for them there is also ram on the other side right there i've cleaned up all the gpus in here and i can't see anything really bad wrong with this so i'm just gonna put it back together i can see something there that isn't perfect that's not supposed to be there same thing up here go away but nothing critical i'm gonna put this back together as carefully as possible put this back in i have loosened this so i don't have to fight as much with it and i'll put in all the black screws again okay that has been put back together so now we go to the other side i should really put this on something so, a little bit softer and i'm gonna be putting on the heat sinks back again but i'm gonna clean them off this time Make sure that they're nice and clean. And this is so small, I usually do five tips, taps. But I'm just gonna put one in the middle. Okay, all the heat sinks are back on. And I was kind of lucky because I thought they were all alike. But actually there's a cutout for this power plug over here. And there's another cutout for, hmm, I have no idea what that hole is, but there is a cutout for it. But I mounted it perfectly right. That's really weird. So let's put this back on and put in the last screws and put it in the server. Okay, here is the riser card again, and up here there's a bluish piece of plastic, and that can be taken out and put over here instead for putting a long card like this in. So we'll see if that can be there or if I have to get rid of that. Doesn't, doesn't look that bad, actually. Just need to, to hit the slot down here. Let's see if it fits in the server. So this is how the server looks. I'll try and start and see if I can fit it here because the power plug for it is right there. There. Video power. Actually looks like there's two of them, but it's only the reflection in the black plastic there. So if I can fit it there, that would be awesome. Yeah, it's not gonna go down because of that plastic. I hope it's not needed. Let's take this out. There. It seems like it's meant to, to do that. Cool, it's in there. Perfect and everything. Last time I was playing with a graphics card in the server, I had a lot of trouble getting the power from this connector and up to this connector uh, because I was putting in the graphics card over on the other side of the server, over there, in that slot, because that was the only slot where I could really fit it because it had a big heat sink. This one is more manageable. That's why I went out and I bought some cables so I actually have the right cables for this too. 
and that will go directly into the graphics card like that and we'll twist it will go down to the motherboard system board it's, I'm putting it in wrong there we are just need to get rid of that little extra somewhere where it doesn't hinder the airflow would be nice that's kind of awesome right so i think i'll stop the video here because now i have to go check if this works and that will be a brilliant video in its own and you might be wondering why i saw the pci express slot down here and that's actually you can get an x16 riser card for this but they are bloody expensive and they're very rare i haven't been able to find any well if i wanted to pay 1700 danish kronos for print like this this is probably about 10 20 dollars if i just want one with the two times 8x pci express ports if i want one with one times 16x they are so rare that uh, yeah i would pay I would have to pay two two hundred and fifty dollars for one of those. That's why I'm doing this ninja trick and sawing the end of it. And I would really not recommend you doing this. I have so many servers that if I break something, it's not a big deal. But if this is your only server, I would be very very careful. Don't do as I do. Improve on what I do. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see if this will work. You have to subscribe button is somewhere they move it around so i don't know where they put it join me over at google plus i'm gonna post a couple of pictures of this so if you had joined me over at google plus you would know that this was coming i've already taken the photos so they will be uploaded shortly and have a nice day bye bye